Hello everybody. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Go Plus inflatable tandem kayak. I just got this last week. Never opened it yet. And let's see what we have in here. There's this looks like the the seats. Uh, we'll save this for later. Another seat. Tandem kayak means there's two seats, of course. This looks like the footrest. Oh, this is a carrying bag. Comes with its own carry bag. Large carry bag to carry your kayak to and from the water. Another foot rest. Comes with a pump. You don't have to buy your own. Let's see. Let's check out this pump. Looks like a pretty good, good quality pump. It has its own little uh, pressure gauge. So you know how much pressure you have to inflate your kayak at. Assemble the pump. This little hose screws onto the pump, like so. Alright, here's the pump. Next is what is this? Uh, let's see what we have in here. Um, it's a type of a handle and a repair kit. If you have a hole in your kayak while you're using it, some little pieces of rubber or PVC that you can uh, repair your kayak with. We have two paddles. One set of paddles. So, okay. The first section goes into the paddles, a hole on it. It's a little push down knobby thing on it. Assemble it like so, press it in. Let it snap. And then you assemble the other side. Make sure that they're facing the same way. Okay, this goes in here and it's a little uh, little catch. You open that up, put it in, and tighten it down. So here's your paddle. Here's a paddle right here. And there's a second paddle. So here you have two, what do they call skegs, that you put in the bottom of your kayak so your ca the kayak travels straight. It doesn't go bobbing through the water, it goes in a straight line. So we slip this underneath once the kayak is inflated. And here's the main kayak. Sure, you don't use a knife to cut this, or you might cut your kayak. Very careful, eh? As you 
can see it's uh, 11 feet. And this is the, the floor. It's made out of uh, well, it's a drop stitch floor, new technology, but when you inflate it, it makes it rigid. Like it's a hard floor, not like the uh, the old kayak that had that uh, air mattress feel and look in looking. So here's the floor. So now we're gonna proceed to inflate the kayak. Take your pump and. The inflation points are all numbered, so you have a one, two, and a three. So, of course, you attach it to the number one, which is on this side. This kayak has three chambers, so it's an extra, safe, extra safety feature. If one gets punctured, the other two hopefully still have air, so you won't sink. The way this valve works, so it has a little spring-loaded valve. If you push it in, it's to deflate. And if the red piece is out, it means you can inflate it. So you put that out and push it in and twist it until it locks. Now, start pumping it. Again, recommended pressure is 2.18 PSI. You get a lot of exercise while you're doing this too, eh? Word of advice, um, for you to be able to put the floor inside, do not fill it full pressure, or the floor might not fit in when you're ready to uh, put it in. So inflate it, both sides a little bit, then do the floor and slip it in there and then inflate it to the full pressure both sides. Now that we partially inflated both sides, we can inflate the floor. Put it in first. It's kind of tight, so you to play with it. Chair, so we say so we have to deflate a little bit. One thing you have to note is that the bottom of the kayak has a little plug right here it's called a scupper hole most kayaks have this and you open this up to allow the water to drain from the kayak when the water gets uh, splashed into your kayak you can open this up and it will drain your water so the floor has a, a hole as you can see it's got to be right over that that's how you know the floor is uh, aligned properly it's not front to back so we will now proceed to inflate the floor so 
this floor is supposed to be inflated to 8 psi. We check the gauge. So it's not quite there yet. Still 5. the rest of the, the sides to full pressure. So this kayak is supposed to hold up to 500 pounds, two people and some gear. Pressure here should be uh, 2.18 psi. That's about right. Put the caps on, just twist them in place, and we do the other side. So now we put in the seats is the last thing we gotta do. Well, the second last thing before putting the skeg in. And uh, you gotta adjust your straps to your body size and where you want your uh, the distance from your foot uh, footrest. So once you're in, you can do more adjustments. Okay. So there's two little anchor points, two D rings. You attach uh, the straps that go to the backrest onto the front D rings. And then we adjust the back straps into the other rings in the back. And then we tighten everything up, pick up the slack. can test them, they don't go anywhere. Now, you come here, you put it on one loop, and then through the other loop here on the strap, on the floor strap. This is a footrest. So you go, you sit here and you put your feet here for stability. The last thing we do is put the skags in. This will allow you to go in a straight line so you don't go zigzagging all over the place. And there you are. But of course, you gotta have it off when you're like laying it flat so you don't break the skeg. Mm. Now when you hold the paddle, if you haven't kayaked before, it's like you put it on your head and you make a 90 degree angle, bending your elbow to the paddle. That's a proper arm pr uh, hand placement. And then you just paddle simultaneously with the person in front. Synchronize your strokes. And there you go. 
so the final thing we gotta do is well, we don't really have to do it but when you're on the water and you're paddling and uh, you want to take pictures or do fishing or just look at the sights you can put your paddles over here some paddle holder So there you go my friends, Go Plus Dundam inflatable catch. Okay, once you're ready to uh, deflate it, put it away, you uh, go to the any plug, you unscrew your, your air plug and there's a little uh, spring loaded little red uh, button here, so you press it in and it will inflate on its own. Do the same with the other one. See, it's so easy, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's always easy to take it apart and to put it together. And here's your floor. One more tip is that when you're putting it away, make sure you dry it out or you take it home and you open it up again and dry it otherwise you're gonna get mildew and you get mold in it and then it deteriorates your kayak and it's gonna break down eventually so make sure it's good and dry before you store away for the season or for till your next trip Well, my friends, this is the end of the unboxing and blowing up, inflating the Go Plus inflatable tandem kayak. Um, as I said before, it's an 11 foot kayak, good for two people, that's why it's tandem. Um, it's got two seats, adjustable seats, uh, foot rest, where you can, a lot of kayaks don't come in Plato kayaks don't have foot rest so this comes with foot rest it comes with the uh, uh, scupper holes one scupper hole which basically when your kayak gets uh, inundated or gets uh, flooded with water from a wave or whatever happens you can open that plug and the water will go back into the lake or the river wherever you are it has three chambers for safety one two and the, the floor drop stick uh, drop stitch floor which uh, is a new technology it makes the when you inflate it's rock hard like a solid floor and it's got uh, two uh, paddles with it one person can carry it it's not that heavy 30 something pounds weight and it takes around 10 minutes to inflate it once you get the hang of it so my friends that's it that's uh, the end of part one and uh, uh, we inflated the kayak checked the, everything that comes with it how it works what to adjust and so on all our features and uh, our, my next video part two is gonna be when we take it on the water test it out and see how it performs okay so till next time have a good one stay safe and enjoy all your water sports. Bye.